Hey everybody, uh, it is 2020 and um, something I've never done is a game room tour. I get asked every once in a while um, if I have ever done one or will ever do one and uh, I'm sure a lot of you see parts of my game room or parts of my basement or parts of my pinball room but uh, I thought I would do one. Um, it'll probably be brief but we'll see how it goes. So this will be the first one. I'm starting off, uh, you can see behind me, tragically hip um, corner, I'll call it. So these are some posters and artwork from concerts, um, some cassette tapes you can see behind me. And um, otherwise we're gonna do a, a quick tour down the hallway um, to the game room itself. So let's get started and we'll talk a little bit about the setup down here, okay? Thanks. So as I was just saying, um, this is the tragically hip corner. So I have a few um, some birthday cards, some cassette uh, tapes, a uh, poster from their last tour, um, some stamps, my THC hip club card. I should have covered up those numbers, you know, wouldn't want to even steal that. Some hip buttons, and this is some artwork. Um, this is one of those contests, not contests, but uh, raffles that they see in the grocery store. So I uh, got this for my father-in-law for Christmas. He won, we'll say. I have some other hip pieces, but I don't have them up. Um, Gord Downey's autograph, stuff like that. Um, and then down the hallway, this is still very much a functioning basement. It's not dedicated surely to a game room. Um, washroom, that's exciting. Washroom down here. Um, we have an Ecto-1 and out of time license plate. So I bought these off AliExpress several years ago. Um, just frame them and put them up on the wall. We have a, um, sorry about the reflection, Star Wars. This is the vinyl poster that came with the original Star Wars album. It's really cool. Um, so I framed it, found it at a yard sale. Um, I think it was like $5 for the vinyl, and then this one had the poster. What's unique about it is it actually has um, two Millennium Falcons, if I recall. Yeah, so there's one there, and there's one there. And then uh, I believe this is the ship Dash Rendar flew in. I can't think of the name, the Outrigger. There's two of those. Um, anyway, really cool, um, 1977. And then we have Super Mario Brothers Pinball uh, Translate. So this is framed and backlit. Um, got this off of Facebook Marketplace several years ago and then found a frame for two bucks um, and then just lit it up with some LED strips. Really love, I love Super Mario Brothers, love this game. It's not well loved in terms of pinball but uh, it's probably as close as I'm gonna to get to having that actual game. And we'll just tour down here to the main sitting area. Um, so the one thing about this house, I'll start making excuses already, is that the basement, while it's nicely finished, it's very much chopped up, so um, maybe I can zoom out here. Yeah, so there's a full view. Um, when we bought this house, I really wanted a large space that was open, uh, which this is not. Um, and so that was my compromise. This house pretty much everything else we wanted. Um, the basement itself is probably about 800 square feet. So um, just to backtrack down the hallway there um, that we just came down. So there's storage, there's furnace room, etc. cetera. Um, anyway, so this is the main um, sitting area. Um, ironically, I don't sit down here very much. Um, I actually have uh, consoles on other floors that I play, so things you're not going to see today. Um, PlayStation 4 is actually in my bedroom, <laughs> of all things, as romantic as that sounds. I, uh, when I got my PS4, I actually thought, you know, Saturday mornings I'd wake up Sunday mornings and play games, which I do to some extent. Um, and so it's in my bedroom, but uh, ironically, my 11 year old son plays it now, so he's in our bedroom a lot playing there, <laughs> and he's got it all mic'd up with his friends. Um, my Game Boy collection is in my bedroom, kind of in a little nook. Um, we have a couch in our bedroom, which is pretty big. Um, so there's a little nook with Game Boys, 3DS, um, Sega Game Gear, um, my DS Lite, um, some other Game Boy Advance SPs. Um, so you're not going to see those today, unfortunately. Um, and then on my main floor, I actually have my Switch, is where I keep my Nintendo Switch. Um, and so I uh, play the Switch on the main floor. I play some mini systems on the main floor. Um, what else up there? PS2 is up there. PS3 is up there. Um, but anyway, let me just take off this view and I'll talk about some things that are in here. So um, most recently I've moved some TVs around. So this is a 55-inch um, 1080p, not a 4K television. 
my 4K television is actually upstairs on the Switch that doesn't do 4K. Um, anyway, this is a nice upgrade. I actually recently had a Samsung Plasma 40 inch, my original Plasma TV down here. Um, and then I have a selection of consoles. So most recently picked up a Sega Saturn. Um, so there's Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. Um, I don't have a lot of Dreamcast games. I burned most of them, um, picked up a few for cheap. Um, Xbox One S, Xbox 360, uh, modded Wii. Um, what else is sitting out on top here? Some plug and play uh, Ataris. Those are actually both different uh, games on them. Um, some Nintendo games that are readily available um, in the two uh, carrying cases. There's some Lego Dimensions figures in here. Um, somewhat unceremoniously Wii collection of games just double stacked. You'll see as I go through this room, a lot of the things are around storage um, that I want to address soon. Um, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Master System. Uh, I have a small selection of TurboGrafx games um, and Sega Master Systems. I actually have a boxed Master System as well that I'll show you shortly. Uh, Sega Game Gear in the case. Um, that's one of three. I have a few to fix and sell that I haven't got onto my list yet. Um, this is just new for Christmas. Um, this is a biogenic um, arcade kit for the Switch. So you put your Switch in and it looks like an arcade. Um, and most recently, um, I do collect board games, video game board games specifically. Dragon's Lair, this game is worth a good amount of money. Uh, found in a toy shop. Uh, recently in Hamilton for 35 bucks. So I'm glad to add that to the collection. I knew it was there about two years ago and it was still there. Um, oh, Wii U. Um, and I should talk about my collection. So I have around 1,300 games um, split across every console, basically. Uh, mostly in Nintendo, original Nintendo, I'd say. And um, and then I have around 50 plus consoles. You're not going to see them all today, like I said. So in here we have... Um, Sony surround sound um, 7.1. Um, so I have speakers in the back corners. Um, the subwoofer is located there. Um, you can see this, the back speakers. I'll talk about the stuff back there in a sec. Um, so original Nintendo, this doesn't look very great. Um, Wii U, which I just picked up recently in the box with a bunch of games for 80 bucks at a garage sale this past summer. Sega Genesis, I love the stickers on this. NBA Jam, these came with this when I bought it. Ren and Stimpy, there's 112 in one cartridge in there right now. Um, Watermelon Red uh, N64, all the controllers are kind of tucked back there. Um, bought that at a yard sale. So most of my stuff is from yard sale thrifting. A lot of it is from a personal collection. Um, as some of you may know, I sold off my Nintendo when I was a kid. I've since, that's what got me back into collecting was recreating that nintendo collection and then it kind of snowballed from there so my main focus really was nintendo ness um and it just grew um anyway atari 2600 behind it is an atari 2600 vader edition so again storage um not great super nintendo games with an entire bin full behind it um controllers and then N64 games, again, unceremoniously stacked behind each other. So one of the things I want to address is shelving, and I'll show you that in another room. But for the most part, those are my um, retro consoles sitting down here. Um, oh, there is more. This is really kind of nasty too, but uh, Xbox One games. Um, these are great. These IKEA. Um, this was our main, I guess, whatever you call it, um, table in our apartment back in the day. PlayStation 1, some more controllers, more controllers, Nest 4 score, Nest Satellite, um, Samba D'Amigo <laughs> controllers. I don't know why those are there. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, this is, you know, vintage Ikea stuff, we'll call it. And uh, same with this as well. Um, they serve their purpose for down here. I, I wouldn't I keep thinking about buying the four pack shelves that I use for my records. Um, again, my record collection is upstairs as well in our main living room where our main stereo is. So my wife is more the vinyl collector than I am. She has a, we have about 350 records. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk to you about in this room. Oh, right. Let me change this view here. So arcade cabinet. So oh, this is my first arcade cabinet that I made. Um, 
running MAME. Um, it has virtual pinball in as well in a stand-up factor. Um, I made this probably four years ago now. Um, it's not quite as finished as I would have, you know, preferred. It has some, I'll say, aesthetic issues, you know. If you can see that, there's some close-up issues there. But I love Galaxian, so I made some Galaxian-themed um, artwork at work and brought it in. But otherwise, um, you know, it has, I don't know, 8,000 games on it. It has other consoles on it too. I rarely play them. But anyway, um, built that in my garage. Um, I work in IT, so the computer parts were next to nothing. It's just a really old PC. Um, anyway, it works fine enough. Um, and then beside it is Virtual Pinball, which unfortunately has a power supply issue right now, and I have to repair that. So that is on my to-do list. It is covered up with a vintage um, <laughs> crash test dummies comforter that I picked up at uh, uh, Valley Village, I think. Um, some Just some Ghostbusters toys. I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. So these are the uh, Diamond Select um, toys. And then most recently from uh, my friend Matt, uh, Punisher with a cool pinball scene, which is why I got it. And then my youngest son's drum set unceremoniously tucked away in the corner. Um, under here, there's some more systems. So the Wii um, in the box. I have a bunch of Wiis in boxes that are just around. Atari flashback. Um, some Atomic pinball. So Atomic pinball and Starcom pinball, which is actually pretty rare. Um, so those are cool to have. Recently picked those up this year. Um, Simon Relics and Retro from the Starcom one. Thank you very much. And the Atomic was from a yard sale. Um, I have some vintage blankets. Sorry. So there's some Star Wars, some Rainbow Bright, Harry Potter. There is more in the other room, which I'll show you. Let me talk about some of this artwork. I love these art pieces. Um, so this is A to Z um, of various pop culture. Love this piece. Um, so I think I bought this from someone in England, if I recall. Um, another one here from another artist. Again, all the Star Wars characters. Great piece. So these are prints. These are not originals, but they're signed and numbered. Uh, my wife is a huge Wizard of Oz fan, so you'll see some Wizard of Oz stuff around the house. Um, this is my hoverboard that I made um, for my Marty McFly costume and Almanac. So I just keep those down here when I'm not dressed up for Halloween. More Wizard of Oz prints and artwork. Um, again, for my wife, Mario Blanket. I don't think everyone's seen these before, but there you go, hoverboard. Um, got some light reading out on the table. Um, I like to find vintage books when I'm out thrifting and at yard sales. Uh, let's talk about this room. So this is very much a f <laughs> functioning, in quotations, guest bedroom. Um, when my parents stay over, they get to sleep in this room. Um, so I have my old office desk. I don't work down here anymore from an, you know, work standpoint. I just work in the office or usually in our kitchen or wherever. So I have an old uh, monitor I picked up this summer for two bucks. Um, obviously you're going to see lines on the screen. It works great. Color, amazing. Great for vintage games. So I have my Nintendo hooked up to it as well. Rob the robot, check in the room. Um, what else? A little Halo. Blue, Labatt Blue can fridge. This is an awesome phone. I got this at Valley Village. This is a Swatch phone. Um, you can actually listen to both parts of the phone so people can have like a party line. Dog bone controller, some NES uh, games, and a cool Coca Cola container. I got that this summer. Um, what else? So I'm going to have a lot of toys you're going to see. Here's the Genesis Mini uh, modded and Sony PlayStation modded. Um, my other two mini systems, my NES Classic and SNES Classic, are actually upstairs in my main living room. Um, so this is my monitor that I used to use on my desktop, which I don't anymore. Um, Anyway, it works fine for testing mini systems. I have some vintage Nintendo books here that I just got for Christmas. Little Drake overwatching, overwatching everything. Um, some vintage toys, Half-Life, um, Ninja Turtles, X-Files, Scully. Um, more Ghostbusters stuff, as you're going to see. Some Metroid. And then um, we'll talk about the games. And again, this is where shelving is going to become really important. So I have my 3DS collection. Um, there's some DS titles in there. Um, Xbox 360 games, Xbox 360, um, Game Boy Colors and Game Boy Pockets. Again, unfortunately not on display, just tucked away. Look at that. Stadium events, huh? 
that's legit. Um, some Game Boy Advances up there. This is my um, uh, Game Boy DS uh, macro. So I did that mod. That is a straw. It looks like a candy cane. So I call that my candy cane um, DS. <laughs> anyway, um, PS3 games, um, PS3 games. More DSIs, DSs, Game Boy Advances, Game Boy Micro. That was, um, I remember having this in my hand at EB Games when it first came out. Didn't buy it and regretted it to this day. And someone was selling it on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. So I grabbed it. Um, original Xbox titles. More Xbox titles. Um, PS2 titles, PS2, PS2, pinball game. We're going to talk about pinball in a sec. Some Atari games and some Intellivision games, ColecoVision games. Unfortunately, Again, shelving, I have a bunch of Atari games in box and loose, probably about 100 games, and they're not displayed at all. Um, so I'm going to address that. Some PS Vita games, PS Go, PSP Go, um, some PlayStation 1 games, some PSP games, um, PSP Vader Edition. I got that at a yard sale for like five bucks uh, last summer. Uh, GameCube games, um, Power Glove. I have the box for the Power Glove complete on the other side of the room. I'll show you in a sec. Some toys, 3DS box, um, more DS games, Mario figures of various ages, um, some new, some old. You see a lot of little figures around. I'll just show you those again. Um, Mario poster. I do want to do something more artwork related with this space, but we'll see. Talk about the bed. Um, Pokemon, um, vintage duvet I have a bunch of them some marrow toys i love this pill this pillowcase this was 25 cents at a yard sale about two years ago um vintage um nintendo amazing i wish they had the whole set but they didn't this was for my um halloween costume two years ago lucas barton from the wizard i dressed up not like lucas well yeah like lucas barton had the power glove the jacket um so um, in the movie you'll see him take the power glove out of this container and so that's where i made that and then of course, wore my power glove, wore some gloves and a black jacket. Um, what else is up here? Some more Ghostbuster stuff, some Goonie stuff. Sega Master System, complete in box. I got this at a yard sale um, two summers ago for 100 bucks with 13 games. The guy was a bit of a dick. He was going to throw it in the garbage if I didn't give him $100. But it's well worth it. Um, C64 Mini, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, like I said, this was this, you know, more Wizard of Oz stuff, me and my wife, some G.I. Joe, some grandparents of my wife's, um, I'm going to step on the bed. This is really nice. So here's some boxed stuff. Um, so we, we, you, um, Splatoon edition. I think that had something else installed on it. Power glove, Mario watch, which I picked up recently. Um, really love that watch. Uh, Mario paint, Game Boy. This is my original Game Boy from when I was a kid in the box my parents found the box in their basement last year and it is crispy crispy mint mario phone n64 vhs another uh vhs n64 donkey kong sealed from what is this coleco vision i think it's a cool box look at that intel vision sorry made by coleco donkey kong country um and then down here this is where i keep all my game boy games that i don't have in my uh, upstairs nook so these are all filled with uh, Game Boy Game Boy Color there's some Game Boy Advance in here um, but like like I said most of them are upstairs oops there goes a broken Game Boy camera now we're doing this in one take folks um, <clears throat> so another Mario phone this I bought at a toy store in Hamilton I think it was about 40 bucks Mario wallet love that it's uh, changes I can't see it in the picture um, Game & Watch, some vintage Mario characters, Zelda horse, um, this is really cool, Bomberman, Hudson Soft Truck, saw that at Valley Village, loose in a bag, um, LCD games, um, I had some of these when I was a kid, not these ones, but sort of the, ba I'll call them the more basic sports titles, but these are great, I love these, Jurassic Park, Mega Man 3, NBA Jam, Gauntlet, TMNT 1 and 3, um, Sega Master System games uh, on unceremoniously tucked in behind and then we kind of get into a genesis section um i'm just gonna grab something sorry so genesis um so we have some loose titles and box titles again not a huge collection of genesis stuff um 
So they're kind of, again, just behind everything. So nice vintage Sonic um, underground toy. This is actually from a restaurant. I think it's Denny's. So that's kind of cool. Sonic um, plastic, sealed Sonic the Hedgehog game gear. Another Genesis Model 2. Some Genesis games in behind it. And then down here we get into Wii and Wii U titles. Again, shelving. I'm going to keep bringing that up. Some um, wave birds that I've picked up at Valley Village. This is brand new um, for me anyway. Game & Watch Pinball. Um, so another Game & Watch added collection. Some vintage Donkey Kong characters. Big Back to the Future fans. So the trilogy of Watch. Um, some Dreamcast stuff. Some Odyssey stuff. My only Sega Game Gear game. Um, Independence Day. More 360 titles, so I need to fix that, like I said. And I'm going to get off this bed. And talking about the bed um, that I've now messed up. Ms. Pac-Man, blanket, um, Super Mario Brothers sleeping bag, um, which I got off Facebook Marketplace. And then we'll talk about toys uh, briefly, if you want to hear about toys. So um, a lot of this is from when I was a kid, or some of it's actually new stuff. So I'm going to probably clean some of that out but uh mask uh board game i picked up probably a few years ago my brother and i had this as a kid um mask condor so that's not mine but has a kid raven is mine uh, from when i was a kid and then these are just odds and ends that i've picked up um, at yard sales or thrifting so 007 card there's some beetlejuice some biker mice some gi joe um the lego um, DeLorean that I did purchase when it was launched on Legos Ideas. Um, there's some old books in there, some GoBots, um, more mask, more mask, uh, Robin Hood. These are the stickers that I did a story about that I found inside a board game in a thrift shop. Um, some vintage buttons. I'll go up here. This is mostly Ghostbusters stuff. E.T., um, Ghostbusters glasses, some E.T., lots of Ghostbusters toys, lots of Ghostbusters toys. Um, the Lego Ghostbusters set. This is my Egon from when I was a kid. Some vintage books. Um, and then up here we have a real mix of toys as well. So more McDonald's, um, Mario toys, uh, Sectors, some Fisher Price toys from when I was a kid. Star Wars books, Return of the Jedi, um, Dukes of Hazard. I had this as a kid. This is not mine. Um, with the figures, I picked those up a couple years ago. I actually just picked up another uh, General Lee yesterday uh, at a thrift stop for a dollar. This is a sealed Winston. Um, this should be worth good money. It's pretty trash, but uh, I don't know if I'll ever sell it. These are mine from when I was a kid, Lone Ranger and Tonto. Um, again, some Dukes cars. Um, and then right above it, this is where, you know, again, shelving. So unceremoniously, my Nintendo Switch collection. I don't even know how many games I have right now. It's, what's that, like 20? Some box, big box stuff there too. So they're just sitting at the top of this shelf. Um, some vintage books. Some cool movie books. E.T., Return of the Jedi, Ghostbusters, Knight Rider, Batman. Big Indiana Jones fans, Indiana Jones books. There's some of my wife's uh, Wizard of Oz stuff tucked away at the top. And we'll talk about the Nintendo collection. So uh, all NES titles here. So, like I said, I sold my collection as a kid. Um, this is all recreated. What I did was I recreated my probably initial set of 30 games and then went way past that. So I'm about 275 now. Uh, there's some Game Boy games mixed in here and then some boxed uh, NES titles. And then there's a to-be-sorted pile there um, that I picked up just recently at a toy show. Uh, five bucks each. And then uh, still have the DVDs and Blu-rays. So again, I just threw this shelving unit together um, and tucked it in behind the door. So Blu-rays, DVDs, I'd like to reduce them. Um, I think we have some doubles, but we'll see. But otherwise, I don't have any big um, expensive nest titles, I'm going to say. I had a habit of um, if I did find stuff at a yard sale, I would um, flip it. So I had several boxed um, games. I had power sets boxed um and then i just sold them off to buy other stuff um i'll talk about this very briefly so slurpee um, ghostbusters promo from this summer picked up from the local 7-eleven and then this is another piece of artwork i really like so my brother gave this to me um so all the star wars characters um really like that piece and i think that's it for this room so let's go to the pinball room i kind of 
scooted over the uh, Nintendo stuff really quick. But uh, like I said, you know, I don't know. I I probably won't ever do a collection video, but you know, it, it is what it is. So uh, like I said, a lot of these are thrifting. Value Village back in the day when they used to sell games for two ninety nine, no matter what it was. That's how I grew a lot of my collection. Um, but let's go to the other room. So this is the uh, pinball room, like it says on the door. So here's lights off. Um, it is tight for space. This was my kid's playroom. Um, it still houses a lot of their toys in these cupboards at the end of the room here. Um, but let's turn the lights on and you can kind of see what's going on. So we have um, Jack's to open uh, pinball, um, Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man, Bally Strikes and Spares, Target Alpha. This is an electromechanical machine, so not digital. Um, I have two other pinball machines in the garage. I have another arcade in the garage. Um, my garage has become storage. There's a lot of toys in there too. Ninja Turtles of all things are just out in the garage. But let me talk about what's in this room. So uh, more toys, more toys. So I did a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of backlit um, old arcade marquees. So there's Gorf there. Um, there's um, some Dragon's Lair figure, um, some old um, Transformers, some GoBots. Um, these Coleco arcades, this is Galaxian. It's missing the stickers, I need to reprint it. Um, this was 25 bucks. I have one other one I'll talk about in a sec. Donkey Kong Jenga, um, some vintage Mario Kart toys. Some, what is that? Donkey Kong puzzle, Ninja Turtle puzzle. Uh, Nintendo bag, some He-Man, some Battle Beasts, some Smurfs. Um, I like electronic games a lot, so when I find them, there's like this electronic game behind this here. Um, some Star Wars minis. This is my Star Wars light switch. I meant to put that up. I will. It's an R2-D2 that changes your light switch. I had it in my room as a kid. That is mine from when I was a kid. Uh, most recently, um, I picked up Yoda um, from Value Village, which I had as a kid. There's some Star Wars figures in the case there. Um, this is a really unique um, charity R2-D2, which was uh, for a girl um, who died of cancer, unfortunately. Um, and uh, what else? Some other toys in the bottom, kind of random, some little arcades, um, more DVDs. Those are all Christmas DVDs. And then we have electronic toys, um, all the speaking spells, some Simon minis, some um, Merlin's um, speaking spell, I think I said, or sorry, Mr. Little Professor. It's a little electronic quarterback, some Lego and R2s in here, um, more Ghostbusters stuff. I don't collect pops, but I have a few of them. There's the boxes for the Lego I showed earlier. Some pops up here, pops up here. Um, just some random arcade stuff, Tron stuff. There's somebody. Who's that? Jordan playing a game. Um, and then there's some more. Uh, these are some vintage arcade um, desktop systems I got when I went to pick up a Game Boy, actually. This guy had them when I... You always ask. Um, so those were five bucks. And they're great old arcades. Um, and then Gunsmoke is just a backlit marquee I did. There's a Black Tiger. I love those games. Um, but let me talk about... So Jack's to Open it is in amazing shape. Um, really, really nice um, play field. I do need to recreate this one. That bugs me. The one cue there. Um, but otherwise, it's in great shape. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man... Um, I keep all my, well, most of my Pac-Man memorabilia above it. So again, um, Pac-Man Coleco, I paid, I think, 20 bucks for that. It is the French edition, so the difference is the sticker on the front is French. Everything else is English. Um, anyway, so I keep them with the Pac-Man game. Um, this game it was the only game I actually bought working. Um, I think I paid $600 for it. Um, it's not worth a lot. My pinball machines are not overly worth a tremendous amount of money, but, uh, it's fun to play. It has some speech. It has Pac-Man sounds like the arcade. They will kick in at some point. Well, maybe while I'm doing this video, so that's pretty cool. Um, Bally Strikes and Spares. Um, this I got in a warehouse in Welland, Ontario for a hundred dollars. The back glass is amazing. I love this back glass. I have no idea why. Um, this had a massive rat's nest in it, um, acid, watery damage. You can actually see the, the head of the pinball machine has some substantial 
damage at the back, um, but I did repair it. The play field underneath that rat's nest is in actually really good shape. Um, great game, fun to play, cool sounds, um, and it's all about that back glass, though. Um, I have some stuff, again, the kids' toys are still under all these pinball machines, so uh, I've been, unfortunately, tucking away some of my picks just between them. So there's a Dancing Slimer, Back to the Future car, Battle Dome pinball I picked up at a yard sale outside of Bob Cajun last summer. CDs in the corner. Um, Boba Fett helmet. I love um, video game themed board games. So this is part of that collection. Some of these I had as a kid. Real Ghostbusters is mine from as a kid. The rest I picked up um, thrifting or at yard sales. Mario Brothers, pretty rare game. Um, 10 bucks at Value Village. Um, what else? Some vintage Star Wars. So the Cloud Car, Land Speeder, Snow Speeder, TIE Fighter. That is not vintage. That's from 96. Return of the Jedi game and vintage puzzles from like the early 80s. Um, this awesome Darth Vader homemade um, ceramic light up thing. It's super creepy. Um, Ewok plush from 83. I just added another one to the collection. Um, like I said, these cabinets are all kids' toys still. It's pretty bad. I'd like to rework this room. Some Ghostbuster stuff. Um, this is not great, but a pile of board games stacked in this corner behind pinball machines. So some new Mario Kart Monopoly. Um, but otherwise, I think they look all old. There's some puzzles in there. Pac-Man, Battleship, um, A-Team, um, Adam's Family, Jumanji, Mad, um, the Ghostbusters, uh, Firehouse is there. My Dagobah set, I have not put it anywhere yet, so it's sitting down there. Um, it's actually a Pac-Man back glass down here. Fireball Island, this is from my house. That is an extremely expensive game. That's complete. Um... And then um, Target Alpha. So this was the first pinball machine I ever got. This is the one that got me into it. I had a um, local repair person. After I made so much progress, he came and helped me and really taught me a lot. And uh, I've bought and sold four other pinball machines since this one. Um, this is a great game. There's actually lots of re-themes of this. There's a Canada Dry-themed ginger ale game. Um, there's two-player versions, El Dorado. I'm going to forget them all. But uh, it's a great game. So this is what got me into pinball. Um, really cool. Like, uh, you know, great back glass for the time. Um, this is 1976 and then more games above it, unfortunately. So home alone, care bears, new kids on the block, some posters, Tetris, love this Tetris. Got that at a thrift store for $8. It is a vintage, um, Nintendo branded Tetris game. So I love that game. Um, what else? Some star Wars, my star Wars figures from when I was a kid in their Vader case. Some duplicate figures in another Vader case that are, you know, have no meaning to me. There's a little Batman CRT under there um, for testing games. Some Star Wars toys, Falcon. That is pretty much it, I think. So let me go back to this view. And uh, I'll kind of give you the, the wide shot. The TV's now shut off, of course, because no one was playing it. And there's this room again. This makes it look bigger than it is. <laughs> That's what she said. And that's it. Well, thanks, everyone. Hope you like the first tour. And if you um, don't follow me on Instagram, you should. That's where I post most of my thrift finds, yard sale finds. Um, definitely looking forward to 2020, see what we can find, and hopefully get some shelving um, to address some of these uh, storage issues here. But otherwise, that is it. We'll do a spin.